Welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be leading you through a very gentle morning flow. So this class will be short, and my intention with this class is that it's so gentle that you could do it in your bed even as soon as you wake up. Of course, I'm here in the studio and on a mat, which is also perfectly fine, but this class is very, very adaptable. So do it anywhere that's most comfortable for you. We won't need any props whatsoever, and we're gonna start kind of down on the mat and work our way up to standing. So just like a really good morning stretch after sleeping for so long. So we're gonna go ahead and lie down on our backs if you're not there already. So making your way down, let's just bend the knees so your feet are flat on the floor and just take a moment to feel the breath coming in and out of your body and let's try to accentuate the breathing deep into your belly so maybe you want to place your hands there and feel your hands rise and fall with your inhales and exhales and let's just take three breaths here moving at your own pace following your own flow of breath And from here, just take those knees, hug them into your chest, give them a nice big squeeze, maybe rocking a little bit side to side. And then from here, we're gonna take knee circles and I'm leaving this free for you. So any kind of circles you wanna do, if you wanna bring your knees in the same direction, if you want them to go opposite directions, inside or outside, just try to feel what intuitively your body wants here. So you really have freedom to explore. We're just making all different kinds of circle movements throughout those hips. And this is very gentle, very easy. We're not doing anything crazy. Maybe you wanna switch up directions. Just finding a little bit of movement in those hip joints and in the pelvis. You can rock a little bit side to side still. And then we're gonna extend the left leg out, keep your right knee hugging in, and just take it across the body, finding a nice spinal twist here. And if you've got the space, maybe you wanna stretch out your leg and stretch out your top arm, your right arm. So just almost finding like a T position with your body. Take one big breath. And we'll come out of it right away to go to the other side. So you're gonna bend your left knee in and take it across into a spinal twist. And again, if you've got the space, maybe stretching out that leg, maybe stretching out your arm, just really reaching, trying to make yourself as expansive as you can. One big breath. And we'll come back to center, coming to, up to take a seat. Nice and easy, whatever feels most comfortable for you. For me, that's cross-legged. And we're just gonna take three, like, like as if we're yawning, so like yawn stretches. So I'm gonna interlace my fingers on an inhale, nice big inhale. Breathe the arms up overhead, feel that spine really lengthen, and then exhale, let the arms go, release. And again, interlace the fingers, really big inhale. And if this does encourage a yawn, just let it out. <sighs> Exhale, bring the arms down. Last one, interlace your hands. Really big inhale, fill up those lungs. And exhale, <sighs> let it go. Now, from here, you're gonna grab your right hand with your left wrist. I'm reversing this for you here, so I'm mirroring. You're gonna inhale that arm up. And on an exhale, just guide that hand and that wrist over towards your left side, stretching into your right side body here. So your right obliques, you might feel it a little bit into your hip here. Just finding a nice big side body stretch. And we'll inhale back to center, just switch hands right away. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale, pulling, just guiding that wrist a little bit further towards the side. And we'll come 
back to center. Now, if you weren't already in a cross-legged position, go ahead and take that now. You're gonna take your right knee in front. So your right leg is crossed in front. And then from here, we inhale both arms up right beside the ear, feel super tall through your spine. Exhale, just take a very passive forward fold. So try to keep both sit bones on the floor here so we're not rolling all the way off of our hips, but we're keeping those sit bones grounded. And then your spine is curving, finding that natural fold here. And then you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna walk them over towards the left side. So the opposite side of the leg that's in front. And you might just feel this stretch intensify slightly through the glutes on that right side. And now try to keep your body folded towards the side here. We're just gonna lift that top arm up overhead. So finding that side stretch one more time, maybe your opposite elbow can come down onto the floor. And then on an inhale, we take it up, keep that arm up overhead so we can bend it behind you. Just finding a little archer arm here. Maybe you wanna pull the elbow here like I am. Maybe you wanna interlace the fingers behind your back. I'm just gonna take it a little easy today, nice and gentle. One big breath here. And on an exhale, release that hand. Let's extend your right arm out to the side, cross it over the body, and just guide that into a little cross body stretch here. I'm trying not to hit my mic. <laughs> And from here we will release and we're gonna go ahead and switch the cross of your legs. So now your left leg is coming in front of your right and we're gonna repeat that sequence. So inhale, both arms up, nice and tall. Exhale to fold forward. Feel that natural curve. Really try to release your neck here so we're not holding any tension through the shoulders or the neck. And then just like on the first side, we're gonna walk our hands over this time to the right so you may feel that stretch intensify through the left glute. Make sure we're keeping both sit bones down onto the mat. And then from here, keeping the fold, you're just readjusting, so opening your shoulders up, extending that left arm up overhead. So finding that side body stretch one more time. And from here we inhale, but keep that arm up overhead as we come to a seated position. So we can find our archer arms, just getting into the shoulders and the upper back a little bit. Take one big breath here. And we'll exhale, release that left arm out to the side. Take it all the way across your body and use that opposite hand to just guide it a little bit further into your stretch. Breathing, allowing the body to wake up, moving through those aches. And we'll release that arm. Let's just roll the shoulders back a few times. And we're gonna come now onto our stomach, so into a prone position. So making your way there nice and easy. And now from here, we're just gonna engage a little bit more through our core and through our upper back. So we're gonna do three baby cobras. Up to you if you wanna keep your fingertips on the floor or if you'd like to release your hands. I'm gonna choose the variation to keep my fingertips here on the floor. And on an inhale, shoulder blades come together. We lift up, just feeling that heart open, that nice extension through the spine. Take an inhale here again. And we'll exhale, release down twice more, just like that. Inhale, take it up. Feel the shoulders plugging down away from your ears. And exhale, release. Last one, inhale, lifting up, opening your heart. And exhale, release. This time you can place your hands underneath you and you're gonna push up into either a cobra or a full upper dog. Do what feels best for you today, this morning. And maybe in the sub dog, you wanna add a little bit of a twist towards the right, maybe a little twist towards the left. So this is a moving upward dog here, working out all of those kinks that maybe you're feeling from sleeping. Make sure you push those shoulders down and we'll exhale, 
Release. Now from here, one more little stretch before we come to stand. You're gonna come onto your elbows and then take your right hand at a 45 degree angle so your forearm is on a diagonal across your mat or across your mattress, depending on where you are. And you're gonna rotate to the left, bend through that left leg and just take a little quad stretch. So just stretching through now the front of your legs here. And if you start to feel that this is causing pinching in your lower back, just ease off a little bit. It might, it's a sign that you maybe have gone too far. And as we do this, make sure your right shoulder is pushing down. We're still maintaining a nice long neck, a nice open chest. And we'll release, doing the same thing now on the other side. So your left forearm is on your diagonal. We twist to the right, bending the right leg and just gently guiding that foot in closer towards your glute. Breathing deep here. And we'll go ahead and release. Now from here, we're just gonna take a quick little child's pose. So bringing your knees in, sending your hips back. Up to you here if you wanna have your knees together or if you wanna have them apart. And I'll encourage you to kind of wiggle around in this child's pose. So maybe you wanna just shift your hips side to side across your heels. You can move your hands to the right. Maybe move your hands to the left. So again, we're working out those kinks from sleep. We're allowing our body to wake up in any way that just intuitively feels good for you. And from here now, you're gonna walk your hands up and we're just gonna tuck the toes. So if you are in bed, this might be a good opportunity to step off the mattress onto the floor because we're just gonna come to a dangling pose. So you're gonna have your feet underneath you and we're gonna send the hips up towards the sky. You don't need to straighten your legs right away. And then just grabbing opposite elbows, let your neck fully relax and just sway a little bit side to side here. So we're waking up the legs now and really allowing the spine to hang. So giving into gravity with your upper body. Feel that space lengthen through your back. Feel that lengthening through your hamstrings. Let's come to the center. Maybe you wanna bring your palms back down onto the mat and you're gonna bend through the knees even deeper and then stretch. Maybe your knees stretch all the way, maybe they don't. And again, bending those knees nice and deep and stretch. Last time, really big bend, really big plie and stretch. And now we'll take a little bend, rolling up through your spine, inch by inch, vertebra by vertebra. Head and shoulders are the last to recover. I've come out of frame though, so I'm gonna come back to the floor here just to say thank you. That is the end of our flow. I really hope that you feel all those kinks worked out and that you feel energized and ready for your day ahead. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and I hope I will see you on the mat again soon.